Poor Lonzo. He'll... Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? It's all written down on the recipe I gave you. Just bring me everything that's on the list. Till then, I'll do some fine-tuning on the espresso machine. Okay. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? It's all written down on the recipe I gave you. Just bring me everything that's on the list. Till then, I'll do some fine-tuning on the espresso machine. Okay. About the powder. Tell me. Do you have any idea what kind of blackish powder is needed for this recipe? I have no idea. I don't think they're talking about black powder. Black powder. Hmm. I said it's probably not black powder. But black powder is blackish. Listen, this machine works with high pressure and extreme heat. If you put black powder into the yada 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 let me worry about the ingredients and you'll prepare the machine oh no i am starting to regret this any idea what highly stimulating means i have no idea maybe some kind of stimulant maybe dr gizmo has some in his office oh that reminds me maybe dr gizmo has some kind of stimulant in his office that's just what i said you did maybe i'd listen more carefully if you said something useful from time to time ah oh, i guess i had that coming any idea what hot beans are supposed to be no idea well this seems to be a highly intellectual puzzle for a gifted mind. Right. Maybe you should ask Wenzel. I was talking about me. Sorry. I guess I should have known. Statistically, it was very likely that you were talking about yourself. Don't worry. I'll manage. Hurry up. I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew. Uh, about the water. Keep it flowing. Clean water? Where can I get clean water? Clean water is a meal. Everybody knows that. My father always told me that story about how he founded Kuvac on top of a source of fresh, clean spring water. Hogwash! Your father was a bullshitter, just like you. Bullshitter? What's that supposed to mean? Someday, someone will explain it to you in detail, I'm sure. Energy-rich water. What's that supposed to mean? I have no idea. Hanek told me they sometimes find batteries in the trash. Those contain energy. How about you ask him? Oh, sheesh. This whole quest is exhausting. Exhausting? Hanek is working right in front of this building. Hanek! I guess you'll have to move a few steps into his direction and talk to him directly. Hmm. Exhausting and stressful. The recipe says something about a revitalizing liquid. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. A liquid that makes something inanimate come to life again? That sounds scary. What's scary about that? Just imagine, a freezer making breakfast in bed for you. Yeah, obviously you've never been in a relationship with Tony. Don't worry, I'll manage. Hurry up, I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew. This looks pretty... daring. It is. Great, that's what I wanted to hear. You won't believe what happened to me today. Yeah, you're probably right about that. So why don't you keep your story to yourself this time? But it's got everything. Action, drama, romance. Oh, a dragon too. Uh, no. In that case, I'm not interested. Now that you mention it, yes, there really was a dragon. Too late, damn. I'll be off then, getting all the ingredients. You do that. I'll be here if you need me. The recipe says something about a revitalizing liquid. Energy-rich water. What's that supposed to mean? Poor Lonzo. He'll be lost. Uh, it's all written down on the jaws. Till then, I'll... Okay. Uh, about to... Keep it flowing.
energy rich one. I have no idea. Hanek told me. How about your uh, sheesh exhaust? Hanek! I guess you're hmm. exhausted. Don't worry. Hurry up. I can't wait. I'll be off getting all the ingredients. You do that. Huh? What was that? Oh, the emergency station is opened again. Well, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. Shouldn't he be maintaining the sewer system and removing trash landslides? Gah, lazy bum. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Uh, do you have any idea where I can get water that's rich with energy? Hmm. Very often we find batteries in the junk. Those are always filled with some kind of liquid. We call it battery soda because it's got that fizz when it touches the tongue. Is that what you mean? Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Crap. Locked. Distrust everywhere. I don't see what this will be good for. I mean, I already have enough holes in my teeth. This could come in handy with my next amputation. Dr. Gizmo says Wenzel's toe could have been saved with non-corroded tools. It's the last tree left. I hope it doesn't croak. I mean, where would I test my herbicides? I can't just go and incinerate the last tree. I mean, where would I test my herbicides? <laughs> Gizmo isn't here. That means I can fiddle around with his occupation modes unnoticed. <laughs> it looked much lighter lying in that cupboard. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because I'm always cautious. Work gloves? <laughs> Gizmo is such a wimp. Strike! The crime rate has risen significantly over the past few years. Since round about my 18th birthday, luckily there's been almost no juvenile delinquents since then. Ugh, I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle so far.
Your parrot doesn't seem to be feeling so well. Holy cow! He's completely knocked out. How are we supposed to detect dangerous fumes now? It's always the same. The warning light is the first thing to break. You can take the bird if you want to. He's useless to me like that. This brings water to the houses, or with fluid nitrogen, depending on the escape plan. Wenzel has attached a protective cover to his chimney. What an egomaniac! Where am I supposed to practice spitting now? This wasn't half as funny as I thought it would be. Poor Wenzel, his tender heart will break when he finds out that the well in his basement isn't real. <laughs> Quick, I don't want to miss the moment. Wenzel? I'm down here! Come quick! You won't believe your eyes! <laughs> Poor Wenzel still thinks he struck water down there. Instead, his cellar is simply flooded. <laughs> Bad luck. What's up, Wenzel? I struck water! Well, Wenzel, maybe you shouldn't get too excited. Sometimes you just think you struck water, and then it's just... Wait a second. You really struck water. Unbelievable, isn't it? I am rich! But that's impossible. And it's all thanks to you. Well, thanks to your father's divining rod. You are a true friend. You know what? You shared with me, and now I'll share with you. Really? Of course. I share with you this very moment. The moment of triumph. Let's enjoy it together. What's that grinding noise? It's not my teeth. I see. I'm rich! There, I can see it clearly. Grit, and there's a dead beetle. Clear water. I don't want anything to do with Wenzel's stinking well. I don't like the direction this is taking at all. Ugh, this 
this really necessary? Oh. The seats are covered in tasteless pink leatherette. A puppet is pirouetting in the corner, and on the driver's sign it says, Sugar Puff. <laughs> Stupid name. Ah, ah, ah. Brilliant idea, Rufus. What could a lonesome bull crave more than a well chilled glass of Nat's piss? Okay, I'll use the cow. Main thing is that it worked. You have to be age 12 or older to use this device. Oh, that's better, but it's still pretty boring. The bull's spirits really need to be pumping before I ride it. Aw, does that upset you? Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil. Or whatever liquid it is that's pumping through those tubes. Draw blood from an enraged bull? <laughs> Child's play. Bull's blood. Check. Oh, the blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! I would have earned the one, but I guess the 63 will have to do. Ah, Rufus, I believe you may very well want to congratulate me. The mayor was very excited to hear about my discovery. He believes the water vein might make Kulvac one of the three richest settlements in the southern quadrant. Right now, he's hearing one more applicant, but for now... It looks like I'll be the one. Goal is supposed to live at your place? Huh, don't make me laugh. What? Now that I have a water vein on my property, I'm one of the most influential people of Kuvac. And with an orbit pixie in my house, I might even become an honorary citizen. Who knows? One day, I might even follow in the footsteps of your father. But I was the one who saved her. And I'm the one who gave her shelter. Rufus, you don't even have a house. So how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, I'm, uh, um. Next up, number 63, please. Rufus, so how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, I'm, uh, um. Lotech, I have to talk to you. It's about... Lotech? Uh, what? Who's disturbing me? Whoa. Are you really sleeping in your desk? This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Before me, your father used to sleep in here. That was before he betrayed the community. Huh. <laughs> 
Well, I can totally understand that. Well, he left you behind, too. Be that as it may, who sleeps in a desk, anyway? Admittedly, the desk isn't aligned correctly with the planet's magnetic field, but your father had a device installed to correct that. What? I'm here for the Elysian girl. They all are, but you're too late. The hearing is over. Over? But it was me who found her. As far as I know, it was Panic who found her. Well, I found her first. And you just left her lying there? Uh, no, it was uh, different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But, but I saved her life. I find that hard to believe. Considering you're responsible for 90% of all injuries that happen in Kuvak. Well, but 90% of those ha have been my own injuries. Listen, Rufus. Whenever chaos breaks out in Kuvak, you are responsible for it. As far as I know, you might even be responsible for that girl falling from the sky. Uh, no, it was different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But I have to help her return to her world. To Elysium? <laughs> That's a good joke. You should know better than anyone else that there's no way to leave Deponia. Nothing that ends up on Deponia will ever leave again. My dad made it. That's neither probable nor verifiable. I know that's what you'd like to believe, but I believe it's more likely that your father ended up crashing into some trash heap. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. That's too bad. How exceptionally reasonable of you. I've made my decision, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm starting to run out of good arguments here. Finally! There is a god! Are we done here? I really need to go to the assembly hall. You bet. Oh, now what? The girl belongs to me! Wrong! I've already made the decision. I'm starting to run. Finally! Are we done here? I really need... You bet. Oh, now what? I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. <laughs> you don't even have your own residence, do you? You're mooching off your former girlfriend. Yeah, well, at least I'm not sleeping in the drawer of my desk. Watch your tongue, son. This is the mayor's traditional resting place. <sighs> If only your father were here to put you in your place. You know darn well he worked here before me. Oh yeah, you mean he slept here? You don't even know what real work is. If you'd put in a little more effort, you could have followed in your father's footsteps. My father's footsteps led away from this dump, and I'll get away from this rock too. And you think you'll reach your goal without a serious effort? <sighs> I'm beginning to understand why he didn't take you with him. What? Instead of just moving the desk, my dad preferred messing with the planet's magnetic field? Well, he was the most egocentric and stubborn person I've ever met. Hey, that's a lie! Oh yeah? Why do you think he left you here? Because he didn't care about anyone but himself. Not even his own son! Not even for his own son. Pretty ironic that you've become just as egotistic as he was back then. Egotistic? Me? Ha! Just recently, I risked my own life to save a girl from the clutches of the Organon. Completely without ulterior motives, I suppose. You better believe it. My ass. <laughs> You'll be surprised, Lotet. I will save the girl. And then everyone on this planet will realize how selfless I really am. But then it'll be too late, because then I'll already be sitting in some cocktail lounge in Elysium and laughing about you fools and how you still have to live in this junkyard. You'll see. When does the post office open? Whenever I feel like it. I am the mayor, you know. A stupid rule. That was your father's idea. Uh, stupid, but not bad. Not, not bad at all. The girl will- Wrong! I've already- Finally! Are we done- No. That's it. Well, then just beat it! I need to get to the assembly hall!
one of the few long-distance radio devices in this backwater town. Why are we paying an operator if nobody's ever making a call? I know why I don't pay taxes. Next, please. Hmm, guess I'm last in line. Whatever. Who could possibly succeed except for me? There's a message from the mayor of Buzo Westfog. O O I C U R N E D O T. Huh? Either a cat was jumping up and down on the keyboard, or the operator must have gotten that all wrong. S O L O N G Y O U S U C K. What a pile of junk. Hey, that's Dad's water glass. I hardly ever saw him without it. He must have been worried about dehydration. If this is where the key to the world belongs, good night. I mean, I managed to lose the key to my front door all the time. Huh, he's gone. Well, never mind. Gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Yeah, this could have been my idea. A gadget that manipulates the planet. Yeah, this could have. Hmm, I kind of know this symbol. Hey, that's my dad's divining rod. this? A hidden compartment? Well, looks like Dad's secret will see the light of day after all. <laughs> a key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. I wonder what I'd get for it if I melt it down. This might be unnecessarily complicated, but I'm certain Dad wanted to make sure that I'm the only one who could get this far, get to his big secret, his legacy. His liquor cabinet. That smell reminds me of something Dad's after shave lotion. must have found clear water, obviously. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh, Rufus. Exactly. About my key again. Again? Well, if you insist. What was your name again? Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff? Hmm. Maybe I found your key, Sugar Puff, but I need to be sure it really belongs to you. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink, you say? That sounds about right. And, uh, do you have a special hobby? I, uh, love the ballet. <laughs> Bullseye! Then this must be your key. This must be your lucky day, Sugar Puff. Yeah, I'm so happy I could just explode. Really? I might have a one-time job for you down in the mine.
so much power in such a heap of junk. What a waste. Oh, I can't remove it. But how do I get access to the power that's harbored within them? Oh, he doesn't show any reaction. Did I give him the wrong dose? No, I always know what I'm doing. I want the battery acid, and I have a dentist drill. <laughs> That's almost too convenient. Ah! Ow! <laughs> yeah! Ow! Ha <laughs> ha! I've siphoned the acid without injuring myself. I'll drink to that. Blech. One whole chili. Stimulant. Well, there we go. Black powder. A pinch of black powder. Ground with love. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer. <laughs> or Savior. Hmm. No, Slayer sounds much better. <laughs> I'm as deadly as a poison dart frog, but much cooler. A poison dart, um... This would make a fabulous all-round tool. Nah, who needs fabulous all-round tools anyway? <laughs> That's for amateurs. That's a great idea. All that's missing is a blowpipe and a sufficiently safe distance. Hmm, the funnel would make an excellent blowpipe. <laughs> Indeed. What the? A dart? A little longer. And... Ah. Oh, what am I getting mad at anyway? Strike! Hey, Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? And while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. Mm, just, um, just, just a moment. What? Ah. Did you mention... Weather balloons? No, no, no. I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those those nifty vouchers? <laughs> Keep your hands off. I've counted them.
I already have the special water at least. Into the tank you go. So, I have the powder already. Well, that's it. I found all the ingredients. Wonderful! I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. But I thought we were making espresso. Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within the nuclear core structure? Hear me, gods of our forefathers. Using just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the espresso-verse. Holy smoke. More pressure! More pressure! Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> Are we... Are we dead? No. Being dead feels completely different. Ugh. As you know, I have gazed deep into death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Shh! Something's happening. Ouch! Whew! I think this brew is gonna do the job. Poor Lons, he'll be lo Lonzo. Ah, oh, Rufus. Did you come to help me clean this place up? Well, you know, I got this thing going on. I'll come back later, okay? Oh! Oh! I can't even look at it. It melts my eyes. It's kind of pathetic, you get all erratic About dirty dishes congesting the sink I'm tired of your bothers, remember our fathers They dwelled in a world filled with rubbish and stink But when all hope was lost